Hey guys, and welcome to another Technology Guru video. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through from beginning to end on how to set up Libsyn to host your podcast. So when you're creating a podcast, you have to understand that you have to provide iTunes and the other distributors of audio your RSS feed. And I'm not going to get into too many details on what an RSS feed is, but in order to get that feed, you need a provider like Libsyn to get that RSS feed for you to send out to those distribution places like iTunes. So under Libsyn to get started, it's www.libsyn.com and then go up in the upper right hand corner and then you'll see something that says sign up. So click the, the green sign up button there and then you're going to fill out all of your account information, your payment information and it starts as little as five bucks a month. Now if you're going to get a reliable host and if you're serious about creating a podcast, you will have to shell out a few bucks per month for the plans like this one here, the Libsyn Classic 50 starts as low as five bucks a month. I normally recommend recommend starting at the Lipson Classic 250 because you're going to have plenty of space on the plan to upload weekly for your show, which is probably what you're going to do to stay consistent. And you'll also have some really good stats within the Libsyn dashboard. So select the plan you want. And then once you do that, go ahead and go down here and agree with the terms and service and click sign up. Now, once you've signed up for a Libsyn plan, you created your first show, you're going to see it in the tab up here in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. You're going to see the show name. Now, what you're going to want to understand is what all of this stuff means here. You're going to be taken directly to your dashboard. So on your dashboard, you're going to be able to access a bunch of different things. But when you're starting out your show and setting up your hosting plan, you need to do a bunch of different things first before even thinking about uploading any audio. So the first thing you wanna do is go to your destinations tab, which is going to be right here. Click the destinations tab. Once under the destinations tab, I want you to take note of a couple specific areas. Right here under quick links, you're going to see something that says Libsyn Classic Feed. Under this right here, this is going to be the feed that you're going to send out to iTunes, to Stitcher, to Google Play. Wherever you're wanting your podcast distributed, you're going to need to provide them with this Libsyn Classic Feed. So make sure you take note of that. So underneath here, under all destinations where you see Libsyn Classic Feed, go to where you see edit. It's the little pencil icon right here. Click on edit. And then once we're there, we're going to want to fill out all of this information. So you're going to see your feed extension right here. You are then going to see iTunes categories. Make sure you select three of them, not just one or two. Uh, the more of those you can have, the better. So you definitely want to utilize all three of the iTunes categories. Then under iTunes store basics, you're going to want to enter a subtitle. You're going to want to enter in a summary. So what is your show about? And then under author here, you can type in either your name or email address. You probably want to put your name here. So for this, you want to put whatever your name is, the host of the show. And then under the improve iTunes searchability and visibility, leave it there to your language. And then if your show is explicit, you definitely want to select that. Or if it's clean, or if you haven't set it yet, you can click this one here, but definitely choose the appropriate one for your show. Under here, you're going to see keywords. If you're watching this video at a later date, iTunes is going to remove that. So this option here will probably not be there, but go ahead and enter in as many keywords that's in relation to your show as possible. Possible. And then under iTunes contact information, go ahead and enter in your name and then your email address for them to contact you for this show. Now, right here, you're going to see something that says episode item settings. Leave that right there unchecked and then click the arrow here under advanced options. And I'm going to tell you briefly about what this is under episode post limit. This is the only one that I'm going to go over. I use mine, uh, change mine to zero because I want them to distribute and show all of my episodes, not just the first 50 or the most recent 100. So I'll leave that to zero and that will display all of your episodes. Leave everything else the same and then go and click the green save button at the bottom of the screen. You will then see a notification telling you that your feed successfully saved and here's your feed address. So this is going to be your Libsyn Classic address that we spoke of earlier. Now, the next thing I want you to do is go up to the gear icons under settings and then go to edit show settings. So right here, uh, basically you're going to see a lot of the same fields here to fill out. You're going to have your show title, very important here. You're going to have a show description, again, very important there. Website address, you, you definitely wanna have a website to link back to within iTunes. Under tags and keywords, Again, iTunes and places like that are search engines, basically, when talking about podcasts. When people are searching for specific topics, you definitely want to include that here. It'll improve the SEO of your podcast. Under public contact email, enter in your email address here. The default show feed. Make sure you have this one selected here, Libsyn Classic.
classic feed. You do not want to use any other feed like a website feed or anything like that because if your show grows, then you want to have the reliability of a host instead of a website where it may go down and you're going to lose listeners. So under iTunes store web address, basically go to iTunes, go to where you see share link underneath your show, and this will be done after your show is published, obviously. So don't really worry about that now. Uh, enter in any copyright information that you want here, and then underneath the artwork, you can upload your artwork by going to the green upload new tab here, or if you wanna remove it, you can remove that and then upload some new artwork if you're updating your artwork. And then again, you need to remember, for best results, you need to upload a square image, JPEG or PNG file, it needs to be high res, uh, 1400 by 1400, pixels was the best, but here recently iTunes updated that to show that 3,000 by 3,000 pixels are going to be best for like people who are watching or listening to your show on an Apple TV or big screen TVs, whatever it may be. So for best results, try the 3,000 by 3,000 pixels, but if you do 1,400 by 1,400, you should be fine. Now this here that it shows enable sync with an external feed, make sure that is unchecked because again, you want to use the Libsyn Classic feed to distribute your audio and then click the green save button there once again. And now you are good to go. You're ready to uh, begin uploading your audio. But let me show you a few other things before we jump into that. Underneath the stats tab, which will be right here next to storage, we click on that. We're going to see all of these great stats like per episode stats. You're going to see uh, right here how your show has grown over the years. If you've been on Lipson for a while, you're going to see daily totals, weekly totals, monthly totals. And even if you want to, you can upgrade your plan to even break it down by country by demographics, things like that. And as your show grows, you may need this information when proposing to advertisers to come on and be advertisers for your show. So that information is always useful. So remember that stats are extremely important. The next thing I want you to take note of is right here under content, you're going to see something right underneath there that says add new episode. This is where you're going to begin uploading your audio. So go to content, add new episode. And then once you're under the add new episode section of Libsyn, this is where you're going to enter your information about the specific episodes and then upload them or schedule them to upload at a specific date. So basically we'll go here to add media file and then you can upload from your hard drive and then basically you'll just select wherever your episode is. So right here, mine might be under episode 15 and then select the MP3 file or whatever file format that you're wanting to upload. And then as you see here, it'll begin uploading like you see there. And then as it's uploading, you can go under the details section, insert a title, insert a subtitle. Again, this is for this specific episode of the podcast and then a description. What I like to do is go ahead and create my show notes in like Evernote or a text pad or something like that. Create the links, get it all formatted correctly, and then go ahead and post it here on the description and then go to my WordPress website and post it there in the description as well. That way you have it in two separate places. Now, if you remember correctly, when you're listening to a podcast, if you're a consumer of podcasts like myself, whenever someone opens up your podcast within iTunes, they can click on the album artwork and it'll flip over and it will display the show notes. And that's a great thing because if you have any type of affiliate links or any place you want them to go back to your website, they can just click there directly on their mobile device and they'll be taken to wherever that link is and they'll still be listening to the audio within the podcast player. So it's very important that you put your show notes and any information you want in the description here within Lipson. Now underneath thumbnail, don't worry about that. The feed will distribute your album artwork. So don't worry about that. Don't worry about blog thumbnail under category. Normally leave this as podcast right here. Just because it's gonna be a podcast. Under tags, keywords, whatever the podcast is about. If you have a host, you can put their name here. And then you can go ahead and choose the rating here. Like if this episode is explicit, but your show's normally clean, then you can select a episode specific rating for this episode itself. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go to not set there. You can update your ID3 tags, but you should be tagging your audio well before you get to this point, before you even upload it. So don't worry about that there. But if we go down to the bottom of this page, I wanna make sure you understand all of this is correct. Also make sure it says that your RSS feed is validated successfully. You'll see a green box here. And then if you tweaked it a little bit, fixed it, whatever the error was, you can rescan just to make sure that it is working. And then you can go down here and click the green publish button. And my friends, your audio is now out there to send to the places. Now, if you want to schedule your audio, you can go right here to scheduled for release, or you can look right here at previously published. So once you've published an audio file, you can go to content, 
previously published. All of your episodes will be listed here. And then you can go here and edit. So if we want to click on the little pencil icon, we can edit the title, the subtitle, the links, the description, whatever we want to edit. And then we'll go back and I'll show you exactly what's here. You can even go here and get the links again. So if you need the permalink to provide for your player within your blog or website, whatever, you can go up here and get your direct download URL or your permalink, whatever you may need. And you can even get the enclosure and embed tag right here to put the Libsyn player on your blog post. So if you're posting a, bl a blog post on WordPress and you are wanting to put in the Libsyn player, you can go here and select which player you want to use and then go to preview, get embed code. And then as you can see, this is what it's going to look like on your website. Go ahead and select all of this code here and then put it within your text information on your blog post. And there you go. You've got the Libsyn player within your blog post. Now, this is the basic beginning to end setup when talking about Libsyn and getting your podcast within a host. Now, remember, once it's up here, once it's hosted on Libsyn, you need to go and provide iTunes with the feed to get your show on iTunes for it to be approved. Now, I have a link in the description that'll link you to a video showing you how to quickly link it to iTunes and get your show approved and all of that good stuff. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button below. Don't forget to listen to my podcast. I got YouTube Creators Hub as well as the Podcasters Unplugged show. Would love to have you guys there. All links will be down below. And until next time, guys, see you later.